Hello, um, thank you for inviting me to this uh, to this uh, webinar. Um, I will I will try to share my screen. One second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, you can see it now. Yes. Yes. Sorry, you are not really seeing what I would talk, but uh, good. I think I now now I can start. Um, as I said, first, thank you for for the invitation, and and, and I think uh, uh, I want to so to help uh, to. Thanks also to, to the AMB that we, we have been, we are cooperating a lot. They are one of our partners. In fact, that we have been, I think I was with Maite uh, this weekend together in Stockholm, just visiting some very interesting things. Um, I, I, I want, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert in, in, in bike infrastructure, okay? And I will, I will, I will, I will let you know what, what we are doing from the ETB mobility and, and, and what is a world perspective actually, how we can support, you know, uh, the ecosystem in order to create, you know, a, a new solution. And what is the aim of the ETB mobility in the European, uh, in, 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 the, in Europe? Uh, I don't know if you have, a, have worked with the ET or you know it, but uh, I will try to give, you know, a, a brief introduction to let you know, uh, where we are, what we are doing, and what is the goal, and how this could be a, an instrument that, uh, in your case, you can use in order to transform your cities, okay, and your uh, also to support from your organizations. Mm -hmm. um, okay, we we are part of the European Initiative, uh, uh, European Institute of Innovation and Technology. That's a, that's a, a body of the European Union that was created in 2000, 2007. Uh, it's a uh, you know a long but a short history of of EITs uh, with different you know thematic areas and, and but we are one of the latest one we, we, we were funded in 2019 and that means that uh, as you know the life of the EITs is normally is a period of uh, around 14-15 uh, years where we you have this funding and and that means that we are uh, in the in the start of of, of the in the initial phase of the of our life. Um, but uh, what our main goal is, is to support the transition of, of sustainable mobility, uh, the creation of, of livable urban spaces. That means that uh, we are very closely connected with the Commission. We are one of one instrument in order to improve the quality of life in cities. And uh, that means that our KPIs are really oriented to, 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 to improve this quality of life. But uh, also, we, we are we know that there are that the commission is already established you know some goals in order to reduce the impact of, of, of carbon emissions especially caused by, by the transport and that means that we are also supporting uh, this mitigation of the climate change especially of what affects the transport and then uh, we are an instrument of creating competitiveness okay that means that we work very close with the with the universities with the research with the industry with cities in order to create you know, uh, to strengthen the, the the urban mobility sector in Europe, and 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 that's very important in the the role of the ATs. We are there just to uh, create innovation. We are in the pillar uh, inside of the Europe of Eastern Europe uh, uh, budget. We are in the pillar of innovation. We are the ones that we uh, create solutions and, and and services, and we do it. That's the way that we we work. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are cooperating very closely with cities from the beginning. That's uh, they were uh, most of these cities were with us on the beginning. With them, we have been working uh, on the definition of, of challenge. We, we always we start all of the definition of, of our activity, just asking the cities 
what they need, what are the challenges that they have. Uh, as you know, there are specific challenges from city, but there are some common challenges from the different cities. And our uh, cities are, we are growing the number of cities. Um, and also big cities are incorporating to, to our project portfolio. We, we, would try, we want to cooperate with them. And, and, in, and, and in this case, I want to differentiate that, the, that uh, 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 we are working with cities, but we are also closely working with metropolitan areas. Okay, and let's say this is stated here. We already have uh, five metropolitan areas, and 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 I think it's they are uh, they are sometimes more active than the city. Okay, because they have they are the ones having the problem of mobility basically. Okay, with the with the, the areas around the city. And, and that means that, and also they have some, some of the metropolitan areas that we are working, they have most of the competences of uh, uh, public transport. And, and that means that in this case, uh, we cooperate a lot with them and, and they are very active. And in some cases, they are really leading proposals. That's something that we are looking for cities, that cities that are able to lead proposals. These are the, in, in this short period of two years, okay, um, I almost, almost three years, but obviously we were just uh, starting officially with the first, you know, big funding on 2020. Uh, we, have, we have been delivering a lot of uh, KPIs. For example, we are investing a lot in education. We have, uh, uh, you know, trained over 500 master's students. Uh, we, we great programs that were you know viewed by by 5000 uh, uh, professionals and also we have a doctorate training network of 550 uh, and uh, psd across europe that means that uh, this is what we have been doing in one year because we want to train the professional of the future of mobility okay mm -hmm. then one of the uh, of the areas that we are uh, supporting a lot is the new business opportunities that means that uh, we are uh, we, we have supported like 100, more than 120 startups. We are also investing on these startups because most of the innovation in the mobility sector is coming from, from, from startups. And last but not least, uh, we are really de developing innovation, innovation that we bring to market. Okay, yeah. In this short time, we almost we developed 158 pilots uh, and living labs. That means involving citizens and local organization. That's a lot. Okay, we are really creating a lot of things involving the cities to demonstrate solutions because this is the way to put solutions into the market. But we need it, we need to think that there are the component of the citizen engagement and the local engagement is really important. Um, on the other hand, we we are developing with seventy two uh, design and advanced. Uh, solutions and we have already a catalog of solutions that we bring to cities and i will talk this at the end of my presentation um and also we launched uh, like 51 urban mobility solutions into the market yeah? with that we are already selling this solution no? we know because we are not the ones selling this our partners of our projects that are selling these solutions okay i want to just yes, to put we are doing uh reports a lot of report this is the last one but uh, i want to highlight a, a special uh, a little bit of some of these uh, uh, of what we got on this report and i think it's relevant of, of the discussion that i i, I the, the project that i will show at the end of the presentation uh, this was a, a study on the costs and benefits of the sustainable road mobility what we want to do is to see okay uh, the EU doing deal uh, yeah is setting you know, some goals for uh, the European cities and in order of reduction, especially of the C2 emissions. Mm -hmm. What will be the cost for the cities, the investment that cities need to do with calculator, based on some prototypes that will be find from different sites of cities and regions. Then we see what will be the, uh, the, the benefits, the returns of this investment that they could get you know, putting pricing schemes, you know, and 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 doing uh, installing sharing services. Uh, what will be the returns? Okay, and what actions have more impact uh, in the short term? When when I say short term, 2030 or the long term, 2050. Okay, mm -hmm. just some some conclusion on this. Uh, I think we got that the 
uh, Europe will need the 86 billion additional investment to achieve these goals. There should be a lot of investment moving on, on the reduction of CO2 emissions. Okay. And this is increase on the on, for the for 2050. And um, that means that we also calculated that if euro, euro that we invest is able to generate three euros in 2030. That means that the city could get return of this investment. But uh, as you know, this reduction, it's basically, uh, as was saying before by Maite, is the reduction of private motorized transport. Eh? That's all the cities they are reducing. They start with different levels. You see when that is not Europe, Central Europe, and East and South of Europe, they are different. Uh, percentage of use of, of private uh, mobility, but all the cities, they need to reduce it, okay? Electric vehicle will support that, but uh, also we know that the really transformation of the motorized uh, 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 transport, it will be not done in a very short time. It will take time, okay? Mm -hmm. That means that the most ambitious scenario is to reduce urban facilities by 70 for, percent in 2020 that this there's an impact of reducing facilities and this uh, we also calculated what is the benefit for cities and saying that the, the pricing schemes is something that is the most effective measure in the short term i don't that i don't i know that for most cities don't want to tackle this issue but in order to able to achieve these goals pricing schemes should be introduced okay and we also include about the innovative services okay I just put that picture, okay, but this is, for example, the city of Barcelona, we calculate that they have 575 million extra investment to achieve this, this goal. It's a lot of money, but you know, not all the way will go with private funding. And what we calculated, this is the scenario of a, of a city, of a largest city, and we, in, in, in one side, we have the, 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 the net balance that this is, this is how a, a they contribute in benefit, okay? And on the other hand, we have the reduction of CO2 emissions. As we see, the investment in infrastructure for 2030, they have very, very uh, low impact, okay? Because they take, the, the, you know, the lead time to develop the solutions is very long. That means that we need, cities need to move, especially the, 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 the big cities, they need, to, they need to go to share mobility, you know? And demand management, that's what, they would get okay. so one. and then the other thing is that pricing schemes on the other hand they will get the more revenue with uh, less impact but also it's a uh, medium impact okay i guess i want to take this example uh, you can read the report okay and you will have it and also we are right now on, on uh, I just want to let you know that our, our call of innovation, we have 12 million euros available for 2023, 2025. It's already uh, launched. It will be closed on the 28th of April, but I think you have, still have time. We have four thematic areas based on, on the challenge that we have in the city, uh, plan, uh, defined by cities, active mobility, future mobility, sustainable city logistics and mobility and energy. This is, I will not go there because I know that we are rushing out of time, but uh, we, we have like two programs, one short-term program, uh, one big program for, uh, you know, projects of 3000 K between 800 K. Then when we have one smaller with a project like Cisco with month, all of the projects are with a TRL that are above uh, six. And in some cases for smaller projects in between seven and eight, that means that we are very close to market. We need to develop KPIs like market products and a startup creation. That is what we are looking for. Mm -hmm. And, and we, the, our projects has a component of co-funding. Okay? In this case, for this year, in the, glo in the global uh, consortium, we are asking for a 32% of co-funding. Mm -hmm. If you have more details, okay, I will, you can contact me and I, 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 will, I, I think we can, we can support you. And I, I here, I just want to take some example of projects that we make on the, on or regarding the, the you know the active mobility and the implementation of bike, biking solution uh, we we developed this project that is was uh, the name was Bicification, and this project was led by the center of research of technology in thessaloniki and it was some um, uh, basically what we are doing is uh, we want to 
uh, 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 motivate the, the you know the, the citizens uh, to use more the the the, the cycling you know in, in, in some cities especially the Mediterranean city that there, in some cases is low uh, we want to support this model shift towards more, more active mobility towards more green and also we include a gamification right really okay that means that uh, we develop a solution and the product pattern how that's what basically we are rewarding uh, the citizens to when they use the bike trips mm -hmm. Um, this is what we are doing. We 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 collect the, the back trajectories, we extract data, and with this uh, uh, we are doing pilots in Braga, Istanbul, Tallinn. And you see, all of our projects we, we we want to scale it, and that means that the projects are doing simultaneously in different cities. Okay, this is another project that's uh, something that for us is really important: is the safety in in for for the vulnerable users of of, of uh, micro mobility and um, and we want to increase the safety uh, for drivers and pedestrians okay and this is what we are going with what we are doing with the project is design a system real-time information to enforce regulation and to prevent accidents okay and 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 also we want to uh, know we know that the uh, the the our the bilings are already shared with kick scooters and bicycles and this computer vision software uh, it helps, you know, uh, to prevent accidents. Okay, mm -hmm. that means that, that these are projects that are already uh, uh, we are already developing. Okay, this is for example running. Um, here you have more detail of these projects, and and this is one project that we developed with uh, with AMB and and so with the city of Stockholm. And here we we are uh, promoting. Uh, the installation of of, of, of micro hubs and uh, from last night delivery using bicycles in the case of Barcelona in the case of Angul was not using bicycles that means I will, we will mention the project that we developed in in, in Barcelona and then we, we want to you know implement you know uh, really to promote the use of bicycles for the last night delivery because we think that this is a solution that reduces the congestion and reduce the use of, of, of uh, the, 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 the reduce the transit in, in, in the most populated areas. In cities. Okay. This is another project that we also developed is a, a data infrastructure for vulnerable users. Um, and this is uh, basically, uh, uh, we, we are creating, you know, um, uh, 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 we're creating a, a living lab where we want to analyze the framework of, of data and analysis uh, of this animation of different networks, okay? That's uh, from, from bicycles users and good users. And that means that this is a this is a this is a project that is also running and is related only focus on, on, on data infrastructure. Okay, how we how we improve it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is by longer. This is I, I, I like a lot of this project because uh, sorry, uh, this is a project of uh, what is the impact of e-bikes, uh, and, and how we using the bikes we can extend uh, the trip distance and also the scope of the um, bike lanes in cities. Uh, I think you most of the you know uh, central uh, uh, cities and regions they are already uh, having long distance uh, uh, bike lanes. And, and I think this is the, the, the purpose of this project is to, uh, just to, uh, to to try to promote you know a, a methodological uh, process in order to to develop this uh, bag lane okay mm -hmm. and that's one this is the last one and it was so this is an inclusive bike it was a past project uh, that we developed and basically we make and we develop a completely bike that was electric bike that just to to for vulnerable groups especially People with uh, 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 um, um, that are having uh, no, they, they they are in a wheelchair that they can use a bike and they can be transported in, in, in the city. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, just let you know that we are also in another way we are supporting uh, to solve a specific challenge from city. And this is what I will explain here. We uh, we analyze with cities uh, where there are specific needs. We allocate funding in order to solve this this this, uh, this challenge. We evaluate the impact and we help the city to escalate the solution. Okay, 
And in this case, we, we also are doing uh, some uh, already ex uh, ex executing some uh, of this uh, uh, challenge uh, with, together with, uh, with the city of Toulouse and the city of Milano. In the case of the city of Toulouse, uh, they, want, they have a, a, a central station where they want to implement uh, you know, the uh, places in the close to the station to lock cities and to save cities for, for, for the bicycle users. And we are already implementing one solution integrated in the different modes of transport because this is something that they want to escalate. And the same here with the with the cargo bikes that we are doing with. Okay. Yes, I will I will finish uh, just with uh, giving you a little bit of background of our marketplace. This is where we put all the solutions, not only our solutions, also the solutions that have been developed from uh, from other uh, from other companies. Uh, you can search that for a lot of solutions, especially for active mobility, but we have in the other areas like future mobility, energy solutions that are already close to market. You can contact you with the provider. And I hope that this will help you also to understand what, uh, what we are doing, what are the best solutions that you can find on the market. And what is very important is that everything that we produce are very trusted because we are, we are an instrument of the European Commission. We have a very transparent process. We select the best proposal that at the end they propose the, the, the highest uh, KPIs. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's all from my side. Uh